Hey everybody, it's Jen. I'm coming in today to talk a little bit more about a post that I posted last week. So in the call to abundance last week, we were talking about being able to match the vibration and being in the vibration um, that you want to be in and how when you're trying to manifest, create your reality, those kind of things, we we often feel like there's such a gap, right, in the frequency that we want to be in. But when we're in divine alignment and in line with what my guides and angels are bringing through. And they were, they were talking on the call to abundance about how do you have to match the frequency? If you're not a match for the frequency, you're not going to be able to bring in whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. So how this works is, and, and what came through the other day is, are you playing ping pong with the universe? And so here's, here's how the visual is that it, it, they were showing me the other day after that call on the call to abundance was you say that you want, you know, a, a higher wage, or you want to bring in more income, or you want to be healthier, or whatever it is that that you want, right? So here's where you're operating. Here's the frequency of whatever it is that you want. It doesn't matter what it is you're trying to create, right? But what happens is you say, oh, yes, this is what I want. And so you shoot that want into the universe, and then you go, oh, but wait. And so the universe can't send it to you because you're saying, oh, but wait. Oh, I want to do this, but I'm too scared. I want to make a bigger impact and be seen, but I'm afraid what people will say. I want to make more money, but I don't, I don't know if I'm worth the raise, right? Like there's all of these things where you end up playing ping pong with the universe. And so you set this intention, but then you immediately pull yourself back down to this other vibration. So you can't be in that, that vibration that matches what it is you want because of your mindset or your thoughts that need to be refined and cleaned up so that you can match whatever it is that you want to create. Okay. So as we're moving into these higher frequencies, everything is vibration. So you've probably heard of the law of attraction over the years. You maybe have even heard of some of the other spiritual laws, but what my guides are saying is it really does come down to what is the vibration that you're putting out. And you, anytime you're feeling yourself going, oh, but, or, oh, I'm not sure. Or, oh, I'm a little afraid you can't fully embody and be in that space of what it is that you want to create because you're not matching the frequency. And so it's almost like ping, playing ping pong. So every time you shoot that desire out to the universe, oh, I want this. And then you're like, oh, but wait. And so the universe has to deflect it because you didn't match the frequency. So this is why the work that I've done for years, right? Going back to my very first book, Embodied Grace, A Woman's Path to Empowerment. A lot of that is about mindset work and about how, you have to decide that you want to change your reality. And, and if you don't want to change it, that's great, right? But most of us are on this cycle of growth where we're trying to, you know, create more of whatever it is we want in our life. So if that's you, there's always more work to refine in mindset. And that's being up leveled again now as we move into the higher frequencies. So another thing that we've been talking in the Ascension Club membership is about the frequency and how for a long time, we were focused on 3D, moving from 3D into a 5D experience. And now we're moving from that new higher experience, right? So we went through 3D, we, we managed through 4D, we started locking in 5D frequency, which is a whole different way of being, right? Now we're being asked to up-level to even the next higher frequency, where it really is about how can we be spiritual beings in this human experience. And I know it's kind of cliche to say that because we've heard that we're, we're having a human experience. We're spirit and you know, we're, we're spiritual beings here on the planet having a, a human experience, but this is a whole new level. And what my guides are saying is this is learning how to be spirit in action. How can you bring the spiritual essence of everything that you are, that you were designed to be the sole purpose that you have, and how can you fully step into that and align with it? And the truth is, it's already there. It's just you stepping into the frequency and into that embodiment and alignment of that, which you are called to. So it's really interesting the way that this is coming through, but you got to stop playing ping pong. Okay. So sending you guys lots of love and I will see you soon.